Namaste. Welcome to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal special with me, Nirmala Basnet. Dear viewers, we as the human race are fighting this biological enemy called the COVID-19 coronavirus. Right now, most of the world is locked down and everyone is staying home to remain safe. Since there is no known cure till now for this flu, the best way to fight it is by avoiding human contact, washing hands, and sanitizing. The natural phenomenon of COVID-19 will have adverse effect on the economy of most of the countries around the world. Nepal is no different. Nepali government is now only worried that the virus will spread. If the virus spreads around Nepal, we will suffer the most as we have no equipment to fight this flu. The hospitals are opened to test and treat the COVID-19. However, if the cases increase in Nepal, we do not have enough space. Till now, nine Nepalese have been infected with COVID-19 coronavirus. Out of these people, one has recovered and eight are in isolation getting treatment. So what does this mean for the future of Nepali agriculture? What will be the step of the Nepali government to feed the nation? As we know that without working in the fields at this crucial time, there will be no production. Today, we are going to talk to respected Nirmal Gadal, who's the chief of the Agriculture Knowledge Center in Lalitpur. This winter, the Agriculture Knowledge Center Lalitpur launched terrace cultivation program for access to fresh and pesticide-free vegetables for the city dwellers. I think the terrace cultivation should be initiated in each home now urgently. It is likely that we will run short in vegetable supplies. Let us now talk to our guest. Hello, respected sir. Namaste. Yes, Nirmalaji, namaste. How are you? I'm fine. I'm doing good. We are safe until now. Yes, you are safe at home. Yes. Okay, very good. How are you fighting COVID-19? Uh, actually, we are strictly following the government instruction to stay at home. Yes. And we are doing it. We yes. are maintaining physical isolations of at least two meters with other people. Okay. And our all the members are strictly doing it. Yes. And the number of washings and using sanitizers has increased these days. Yes. And additionally, uh, we have increased the consumption of... Uh, uh, our herbs yes. and traditional spices like turmeric, ginger. Okay, very good. Uh, like like these things, which we think that it increases the immunity in the our body. In the body, yes. Everybody so from that, uh, the knowledge center is doing that, right? I hope so. Yes. Okay. Good. I very start, good. I start very careful. Yeah. Yes. Respected Nirmal Gadal, sir, is Corona infection affecting the agriculture sector in Nepal? Hello. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. The corona I, I infection affecting the agriculture sector in Nepal. Yes, it's it's, it's very much. Uh, it's yes. Because uh, agriculture is a very different uh, economic activities. Yes, because it's very it's, important it's for very, Nepal. Yes, it's very strictly, uh, it's very strictly related with the time. You know. Yes. For example, uh, we cannot wait. Yes. Or we cannot or postpone the agricultural activity so it's very much related to the time it has yeah. a high temp uh, connection yes so this perspective there is a impact on the agriculture sector yes what uh, i would like to say is that uh, I, I i see this from the food system perspective uh-huh you know our normal food system yes. there is need for very consistent reliable and purposeful uh, interactions among the actors of the food system Yes. These actors include uh, farmers, processors, traders, yes. transport, transporters, yes. wholesale, retailer, and the, and the people, con consumers. Yes. So in this time, in, in this situation of the lockdown, yeah. the interaction has decreased significantly. Yes. And in agriculture, uh -huh. in agriculture market, yes. there is a need for physical interaction, you know, physical meeting, discussion, negotiating with the price. These kinds of things are all, all stopped now. So the food system is, is, is not... Uh, uh, very strong right now. Yes, it's, it's not very strong right now. Yes. And so if you see from the demand side, you know... Uh, yes? 
Yes, so in the future too, uh, we will not have a very strong uh, food structure as the um, agriculture activities have not been going on. What I see is that uh, at the current situation, for me, the current situation is okay, but yeah. I'm a little bit worried for the days to come, how, how the disease will, will affect us. Yeah. So in the current situation, uh, if you see from in the demand side, the demands for vegetables, fruits, Yes. And animal products has decreased significantly. Yes. You know, people are not. This is because the price is a little bit higher, uh -huh. and also there is there is no normal access to these com com commodities. Uh -huh. So demand size is going down. Yes, demand. And uh, what I would say is, yes, un unfortunate. It's unfortunate that in the government release package, yeah. these commodities, vegetable fruits and animal products, has not been included. Uh huh. This is on the demand side. If you see in the supply side, you know, uh, like uh, no, in, it's, it's a very high time in the Torai to harvest the vegetables. Harvest the vegetables, yes. Yes. As I said earlier, agriculture is very much bound with the time. We cannot, we, I mean, we have to operate at the, exactly at the time it needs. Uh -huh. So the uh, delivery of the vegetables that is produced in the Torai has been seriously disrupted. Yes. And it is a peak season for the hills. Yes, to plant very, very. Summer, yeah, very peak season to plant the summer vegetables like cucumber, pumpkins, different kinds of gourds, pepper, mm -hmm. these kinds of vegetables are being planted in the hills. Mm -hmm. And and it, in, in the hills, I mean, in, in the, for the hills, where maize is the most important crop for the food security and livelihood of the people in the hills. Yes. And it also contributes uh, almost 3%. And it's, it's double of the tourism that contributes uh, to the uh, GDP. Yeah. And maize, maize seeding has been very much disturbed because of lack of seeds and fertilizer on time. Uh -huh. And farmers now all over the country are preparing for planting the rice, which contributes about 21% to the GDP. Yes. And and there is high chance that, that if, if the situation will continue, yeah. these rice producers will not be able to get the seeds, fertilizer, equipment, and plant production chemicals on time. So what we can say, we don't have a very reliable data system in the country, but what we can say that um, the production of maize will go down. Yes. And depending on the situation in the days to come, uh, if, if we'll be able to open the market uh, from the mid of the Boishak, yeah. then what we can see that farmers will be able to obtain the inputs. Yes. For rice production. If situation goes on like this, there will be significant decrease of the rice production in Nepal. Yeah, in the that that we expect that I think uh, with this problem. Uh, so, how are the agriculture knowledge centers handling the situation of corona infection in the country? Yes, it's a very challenging situation for everyone uh, because we have to follow the government instruction for our own safety and yes. and. and to reduce the transmission of the virus mm -hmm. and at the same time we, we, we have to ensure the production and delivery of the essential food products. So uh -huh. we are running in a very challenging situation. Currently what we are do doing is that uh, we, have, uh, we have created a dedicated export team uh, consisting two members in one group and we have uh, five groups in the AKC mm -hmm. and we have already uh, publicly shared their contact number and we have asked all the farmers, requested all the farmers to to call on that mobile phones. And 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 the other approach we are following is that locally this time many farmers have the I mean they use the Facebook, you know. So this has been a very important tool to to support the farmers for sending the uh, technical and managerial message to the farmers. Yes. And in Kathmandu, it's, it's a city, and we have a lot of uh, online marketing actors now, nowadays. Uh -huh. So we are we are also supporting them, and we are closely work with them how we can I mean <coughs> sustain the uh, supply system. Yes. Likewise, uh, likewise, uh, we are requesting chief district office to provide the vehicle permission okay. for the value actors for the value actors like uh, traders or input suppliers. We have been helping them in that in that way. Okay, so this and is a work implementation during corona infection. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, okay. 
All right. We are hoping that uh, with these uh, with these uh, interventions, uh, farmers will be able to get the basic information from our staffs and from myself as well. Okay. So, what is the Nepali government doing for agriculture sector to fight this hard time? So. You, uh, now, in, in the federal system, we have uh, three different governments, uh -huh. local, provincial, and the federal governments. Yes. All are working from their side. Yes. Like, uh, local government is mainly engaged engaged in, in providing the basic food stocks to the vulnerable communities. Mm -hmm. Likewise, uh, now, provincial government and federal governments are working very closely uh, on how the agriculture sector uh, to be protected. And, and it, it is for sure that, like other countries are practicing, so we need to pump some budget into the agriculture sector as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, now the government has decided uh, the food items as essential items and their delivery has been normal. It's, it's not, it's, it's going on well, but the delivery of the inputs has been, uh, has been a great bottleneck. Yeah. So what we have been working on that, how we can uh, provide, uh, we can, give the permission for the other actors in the value chains to to do their work on regularly uh -huh. so these are the things that uh, provincial and and the federal governments are doing are right now okay so yes. uh, so this is what uh, what's going on okay what will be nepali policy in the future to improve production in the country you know this is a very uh, challenging time as i said before we are yes. at the same we, we need to reduce the transmission of the virus and at the same time ensure the supply of the essential commodities. So yes. it's, it's, it's a very tough time for everyone, for government and for other other. It's actors. all over the world. It's the same thing. It's, yes, it's, it's the same thing. But in, in agriculture sectors, uh, federal governments uh, are trying to, to bring some package to the okay. farmers, focusing on the small farmers. Hopefully it will come very soon. Okay. And it, it will help to some level. And what we have been suggesting is that if local governments can include the agriculture commodities like vegetables, fruits, and meat products in their relief package, it will help uh, the producers uh, to continue their business. Uh, right. Yeah. These are the things we have been thinking and we have been working on it. Okay. Respected Nirmal Gadal, sir. Uh, what will be the loss due to corona in agriculture in Nepal in the coming year? Pardon, please? What will be the loss due to corona in the agriculture in Nepal in the coming year? Okay, uh, it's, it's very tough question actually, especially in the context that we don't have a data system as I said earlier. Right. But what is, as an expert, what is my guess is that the best production, I mean, it's the peak time for seeding, seed sowing of the maize, yeah. will be affected very badly. Yeah. I would say about around 10% productivity will go down. Yes. Uh, in case of rice, which is which is the first and most important commodity in terms yeah. of yes, in terms of contributing to the GDP yes. and also livelihood. Also for livelihood, people. yes. Yes, life general people. So it depends on the coming coming days. Okay, if, coming if days. Situation, well, yeah, it depends on the coming days. Maize, is, we, uh, maize is really going to go down. The production of maize is yes. going to go yeah. down. And yeah. if this uh, 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 situation continues, that means that uh, rice will also go down. Yes. Okay. It so is. how would you rate Nepali government work efficiency at the time of crisis in the global context? You know, uh, I mean, we are a member of the developing country or other developed countries. Yes. Uh, so we, we cannot expect, uh, I mean, a lot of efficiencies and, and fast things and very modern things yeah. in our system. So yeah. In general, as a developing country, I, I, I would say that Nepal, is, ne Nepal government is, is doing good as yeah. it has the best on its capacity yes. and willingness. Yes. And so, willing to learn as well, right? Yes, willing to learn as well. You're right. Yes, very good. Yes, it's very good. What advice do you have for the Nepali farmers? Uh, you know, this is a very hard time, and farmers have a great challenge. Yeah. Because what I would suggest, I mean, I, I, I like to see from the farmers is that they should.
keeping the their personal safety and family safety first yeah please keep working on farm yeah being safe yeah and support the countrymen by yeah. producing yeah. enough yeah, food we need yes and we are here to support you all right that's great okay what would you like to say to the nepali public at this time of hardship uh i mean it's it's it's, it's not our will it's, it's it's nobody's will the situation we are facing now yeah so we we need to uh, support from our side in in stopping the transmission of the virus from yes. one person to another person yes and then to continue at being safely to continue basic economic activities yes. and this comes in agriculture so all right farmers should continue doing farming and the government should able to create the enabling environment for the farmers to do their job yes okay thank you nirmal sir for being with us Namaste. Okay, thanks so much, uh, Chrissy Television team and you for yes. inviting me to this talk program. Namaste. Namaste. Dear viewers, that was respected Nirmal Gadal, Chief of Agriculture Knowledge Center, Lalitpur. Thank you, viewers, for watching Agriculture Affairs in Nepal special with me, Nirmal Abbasnath. I'll be back with more affairs next time. Till then, Jai Krishi, Jai Kishan, Samrita Krishi, Nepal Kushan.